Morning, everybody. Um, we are a, a little bit late. Uh, we were talking some crystals and I've sat here. It's been one of those mornings so far. I've made myself laugh because I've sat here. I've gone through all the videos. I've done all the intros. I forgot to go live. I did a Richard. <laughs> I do, do apologise. Um, anyway, good morning. Welcome to the show. My name's Alison. I hope you've all had a you all had a good Christmas and a, a, a very happy New Year to you all. Seems such a long time ago, but we're back. I'm going to make myself laugh all day. <laughs> uh, that was really silly. I was I was enjoying the music. That's what I was doing, and I'm sitting here <laughs> jigging away, and I thought. Oh, didn't go live. <laughs> Never mind. I'll, I'll put a video on at the end for you, a bit of music. Anyway, my guest today is uh, Bib Charles from Crystal Clear. As the name says, she likes a few crystals. Hundreds, <laughs> in fact, if that's right. <laughs> we, we were just talking crystals because I was, I was, I've got such a terrible memory. I can never remember what crystals are crystals what their names are so we were just going through the one i had anyway welcome everybody uh, we've got a few people popped on now um mainly from youtube at the moment for some reason i don't know if facebook's gone on strike so I'm just going to say hello to a few people we have bob swede which he is here i'm assuming that's his wife lynn has put that on morning bob <laughs> morning uh, bob kimbo who is kim he, he is one of our regular vips uh, we have kim burn morning kim another kim morning shy charles oh thanks for name of me no, <laughs> no. <laughs> well you, from... I, you never know actually well, you don't know <laughs> new south wales in australia i can't even say <laughs> australia barbara ab good morning and if you could tell morning. us where you are as well that's a bit interesting yeah and you've got jamie Steve. jamie 25701m oh i wonder what that means angela clayton on facebook and our lovely Sue Chadwick, who she is another regular. Good morning, Lisa. Another regular, Sue Bailey. Oh, we've got quite a few people popping on. Our lovely Julie Caswell, she's part of Wimbledon Spiritualist Church. And here is my fan. I told you about my fan. Didn't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joanne Lewis. <laughs> Hey, my Joanne. One, my one fan. Joanne is coming on in April. She may come on. Um, oh. I might get her on her sooner as well to do something else. We've persuaded her. Charmaine Walsh from Northern Ireland. Ireland. We, we Ireland. Have Ireland, because we were talking with one of our regulars the other day who was saying the English don't pronounce it properly. We say oh. Ireland, where it's Ireland. <laughs> you learn a lot. And our lovely... Wendy Lindsay and yes Wendy Ellie's sister uh, Wendy yep. is our pendulum reader and she's just star she does a fortnightly Tuesday show and she's been using her crystal ball recently oh crystal ball and we've got quite a few people coming on today ah Jamie 25701 says this is zip code thank you zip code oh zip okay code. Snowly Baker I haven't put the things up. I told you it's one of those days. Good morning, everybody. Nadia. There's a lot of people on. Richard Ooh. isn't on today, Nadia. It's just me, unfortunately. Lucky for you. Anyway, we're talking crystals today. Uh, we may even get time for um, a few crystal readings, if you're lucky, <laughs> we think. Anyway. What, um, how did you get started with your uh crystal collection, which I know ah. there's hundreds of them? Oh, I would say there's probably more like in the thousands. <laughs> and I don't think, going by your accent, you're not too far from me. I'm in Somerset, so I may have to. I'm, I'm assuming so, Gloucester, 
so in the Forest of Dean, so just oh, on the other the side other of Gloucester, but Gloucester would be my nearest city. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pop so, up um, one day and have a few off you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, no, like, hello, everybody. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm Bib Charles um, and I have a little business called C Crystal Clear. And actually, what happened with me is quite interesting. So, I was always one of these people who was never really into crystals. Uh, like I thought they were pretty and everything like that but never really into them until I then had a, um, a really bad freak accident where I misplaced my footing on a step and it uh, may left me unable to walk for 16 months um literally just from thinking the step was that high and it was actually that high so I overcompensated and went over and like I said, left unable to walk for 16 months. So that completely changed my life. And I was in turmoil and I was like, oh, my gosh, like, <gasps> what do I do? I can't walk. It was like resorting back to being a baby, but in an adult's mind, but stuck in a bed. Um, so what then happened was my nan then got very ill and um, passed over. Obviously, we all lose our loved ones. Um and things were getting so bad that I started, I lost my memory in that accident. And I started to, when my um, physical body and I put myself back into working again, my memory started to come back. And unfortunately, I was hit with really severe flashbacks, um, oh, which yeah. then resulted in complex post-traumatic stress disorder. So I was literally had quite a while of like sort of recovery time where my life was just all in disarray and just not okay really and then in between all of this my grandma died um to which then <laughs> it was really funny I was actually talking about this yesterday with my mum um she obviously left us a few little things so in my thing that was left for me was a crystal card deck and a little agate crystal and I was, I was like, oh, okay. Um, obviously, I was very sad that my nan had died, but I was kind of a bit miffed with Ellie <laughs> and miffed with my other sisters because they had got the other card decks. Um, and because I felt like I was a bit more spiritual in that way, like the rest of the family was, yeah. um, reading angel cards, things like that. We've always, as a family, been very psychic um, and spiritually sort of developing ourselves. Um, and they're like, no, 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 we're having these ones. So I was like, OK, so great. Because I wasn't there, I didn't get to choose. I get left with the ones that no one wants. Thanks. So I just put them to one side. But then all of a sudden, literally, I had such a bad um, uh, panic attack the one day because my panic attacks were so bad that I'd actually fit and I'd black out um, that I came out of it and I went and put myself into kind of like a, a sleep state and a dream meditation. And in this dream, my grandma actually physically was with me in it. And I know the difference between sort of um, a dream and then actually having someone there with you, like their energy. And she showed me um, a specific crystal and this crystal was called selenite. So I don't know if any of you actually know crystals or um, if we've got we've probably I got do. a mixture new i do know selenite because i have, have you got bit. great fantastic because yeah. i don't have any with me at the moment but that is the tower that i saw but they can come in different sizes so she yeah. showed me two of those towers bam bam like that in my vision and she was like bib you need to get two of these not one but two and you need to put them in your windowsill and they were just and she was leading me kind of through this sort of selenite journey and it was so powerful um and then next thing I know I was then this was when I lived in Cardiff at the time uh, I then I then went to go and visit my sister Ellie and my mum and they were like come on you need you need to get yourself kind of up and running we're gonna do this you know with the panic attacks and stuff like that so she took me to Gloucester um to the crystal shop um and I just walked in and then the very first thing I saw was, bam, these two massive selenite wow. towers. Like, yeah. and I was like, oh, my gosh, I need to get them. And they were 50 percent off. So this was in the Bargain. January. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she died in the December. 
I started getting these really severe panic attacks in the October. So it kind of went like that. Um, then that was it then. Every time I got a chance, I was then starting to like get crystals and getting a little mixture of tumble stones and things like that, building my collection. Ended up just a, a quite in, like acquiring them or finding them randomly. Um, but I noticed that when I would actually use this selenite, the one night I just fell asleep holding it. And then I was like pulsating and throbbing and my body was like, boo, boo, boo. But what happened was I actually woke up and I was had seriously reduced the pain I was in. So I was like, wow. oh, OK, I'm just going to give this a bit of a go now. So I started going back to sort of have a week at my mum's and a week in Cardiff because I was really struggling with the mental health side of stuff. Um, and I was thinking about moving back to the Forest of Dean. So I, a week on, a week off. And then I noticed that whilst I was in that week on week off I was testing the selenite out on not just me now but on other people to see if it actually pulled out the ailments then I then obviously started researching and I then found that hundreds of reports about this selenite and people actually using it to draw out physical pain then obviously from that I got the crystal bibles bearing in mind now that I didn't have any memory Oh yeah, yeah. And my memory was slowly coming back. Like so I kind of had my long term memory come back, but my short term memory was not there still. However, I somehow managed to retain not one, but three books of the Crystal Bible. So I don't know whether any of you guys know the Crystal Bible, but they're books like this thick. Like yeah, really, I think, really thick. I think I thought it was the one I had, but it's not. I know there are a couple of people who have got them. I'm going to have to yeah. look out for them. They are amazing. They're very, very complex and very in-depth. It's, it's, it is for people who genuinely, you know, want to maybe have a yeah. crystal business or, you know, really have the knowledge. Um, but what happened for me is then from that, I started to put the crystal books to one side and people would just ask me questions or I'd just start speaking about it. And my mum said that she the only time she sort of actually saw me like alive again during this time of the severe um, sort of panic attacks and stuff was when I was holding crystals or reading the books or talking about crystals. So it's almost like they were bringing me back. Yeah. But then it went even deeper and even further because I started to channel them. And it got to the point where I in spiritual development, you all have your thing where you're like, oh, um, you have your things where you think yeah. I'm not good enough or, oh, no, I, I'm not right. You you really need to learn your intuition. That's especially me all if the time. That is yeah. me. Yeah. Especially Terrible. if you're, for example, doing reading. So one tip that Ellie has taught is um, first thoughts. It's pretty much always your first thoughts. If you are seeing something or being told something or hearing something, it is yeah. the first thought the that first is correct. That so, into, yeah. Yes. So That's what I've got to do because I always yeah. think it's my mind doing this. It's not spirit. It's my mind. And I'm just putting it there. But I have now realized I've been told many times I've just got to get on and do it. Yeah. First thought that comes into your mind. Um, and it is, it is normally the correct one for yeah. other people as well so say like you're reading for other people it is normally because sometimes I've seen the most randomness of stuff like for example the other day I got told I was being shown um autumn leaves and they were very orange brown and I was like no 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 I'm not going to bother saying that but then in the end it kept coming so I was like right I'm going to say that and she was like oh my gosh I was actually in the the sort of leaves and I was picking them up and staring at them and I was like, oh, well, I'm being told that you need to gather some. And it's just so random. It's just the that most little weird. randomest yeah. things. Yeah. And so don't sort of poo-poo, if that's the right word, yeah. or cast off these thoughts that come in because yeah. they are the correct ones. So it was the selenite that got you feeling better. Yeah. So do you, do, on... would you recommend you'd somebody to keep that on them? Yes. So basically what I would recommend, so here's, I'll show you one. Here's a little one here yeah um and this is a polished selenite ball and I've got a couple of those but they can come in like obviously you showed the yeah. little altar um sort yeah. of tower 
Um, they also come in little sticks as well. But I've got selenite those as well. yeah. normally comes as raw. So this is why the polished one is good to keep on you because they can splinter. They can splinter because I've got, I've had the the little ball, the balls. I usually keep mine in my bra. Don't let any of the men hear that. We won't <laughs> tell anybody. Um, but obviously, when I take my bra off, the, the, it's just the, like, the selenite <laughs> just yeah. and I've dropped one, put it back, and thought, "Oh, what's that?" And there's a bit of a splinter. Yeah, yeah it's not very good. But, yeah. um, but it has yeah, so been... selenite sounds good. I'm going to get my one of my little ones. I've also got a spiral, which is about yeah, four inches. A spiral cool. selenite. I obviously seem to have. I always said my crystal is lapis lazuli, and I've only got one bit, which is the bit I showed you earlier, um, which is my point. The obelisk. Yeah. Yes, that's my one. Um, and the one I thought was um, lapis was actually something different, wasn't it? Sodalite. 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 I have to remember that. So I need to keep... Um, I've forgotten the name. See, this is how bad... Selenite. 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 I'm terrible with names. So you need goldstone for memory loss. <laughs> goldstone. <laughs> I'm going to be covered in crystals, aren't I? <laughs> Goldstone. That's gold stone, and it's got gold the um, it's brown with the gold flecks in it, and it's really really down. pretty. This one's a very popular one, um, gold stone for memory loss and finding, um, and it actually helps finding missing objects, and it helps oh, well, um, with, with that. It basically restores disorientation, so it helps with um, organizational skills, but also that's clearing out the mind and, and putting the memory back. <laughs> We've got quite a few questions. I need okay. that gold stone then because I've had to write it down. Gold stone for memory because I would have forgotten. <laughs> uh, Martin loves blue lace agate. Yeah. Agate, uh, angel crystal. Um, my friend Sally, Sally Worker, has a, she's, she has got a really big selenite lamp in her bedroom. Um Linda Fox has asked for pain relief. Do you need two cellulites? So right, okay. So Cellulite. with selenite, with pain relief, it depends. Right, because um, selenite is so strong in its energy, it depends actually how much you can handle. A lot of people will be oversensitive to it, um, or more sensitive than others. So the larger selenite you get it's going to admit its frequency in the room. But if you actually start putting it on your body, what I do is I put it in my pressure points and draw it out or I hold them and things like that. Um, I was in a hell of a lot of pain. So I use the big ones. But anyone who's just got general sort of aches and pains can still carry around like little things. And I would highly suggest to everybody to get a selenite and have it like what you said in your bra is the best place because it's yeah. close to your heart and it's close to all of the main things pumping fluid and functioning oh, just a um, my telephone I'm good. that's all right i'll carry on speaking um and yeah and then carrying this in hospitals with you so selenite is the go-to crystal to take to all of your hospital appointments dentist appointments um cancer sort of um, appointments um, it really really does help with anything also if you've got flu or um, a cold 24-hour bug it's going to restore that straight away um, and it is best to just keep if in doubt just have a selenite with you because also what selenite does is it charges other crystals so it's got another property to it which is vitally important where it charges other crystals so when I say for those of you who don't know much about crystals charging other crystals is basically cleansing out the energy so that the other crystals properties will work even higher and on a higher vibration um, so it's co continually cleansing and um, also top tip cellulite is one of the ones that you cannot wash or get wet yeah, yeah. Um, because it is it will it will flake away and it will yeah. break away. Um, you you but, said earlier, sorry, you said earlier about you kept your your what selenite in the window in the windowsill. <clears throat> yeah, Is that so the best obviously, place to keep it. I know they're self charging, and you can charge other crystals with them. So I did no, learn that. it's it's not the best place to keep it. That's just where my grandma gave me guidance ah. to keep. 
So what I would suggest with anyone with their crystals, and this is what I say because I get a lot of people saying to me, um, what do I do? Where do I put it? This goes back to the intuition conversation. When you first get your crystals and you wash them and then you then bless them or give them a little ceremony or you set intentions for them, you then take them and you just take yourself and give yourself a little thought and ask where to put them. Where is the best, most appropriate place for these crystals to go? And you will know, you will find yourself just kind of putting them somewhere. Some people who have like a lot of crystals like me, they will then start just putting them kind of everywhere. So um, selenite, I would say, is very good if you've got some bigger pieces to have where you spend quite a bit of your time. So say like you work from home, to have yeah, it by it the office desk. table because it's going to be pulling out the um the ailments that are within your body and blocked. Right. So I need to put my little one or my bigger one on my desk here. Yeah. Shove that there. Um right. because there are certain crystals. So going back to that question, where should I put them in the window still? There are certain crystals that will need charging by the light because they're not self-charging. So for example, a lapis lazuli would be actually good in a windowsill oh, okay um right that come out obsidian so obsidian is the black um that's, crystals that's this little one i have isn't it that's a little yeah. cube yeah so obsidian again is very good for the home so that one would be very good around um computers and tech technical things plug sockets oh, well, um, behind the tvs socket. the way i'm going i'm just going to be covered in crystals all over my desk <laughs> yes. yeah. you're so wading through the crystal yeah, yeah. And I'll, be, I'll, I'll be clattering around as well so for, yeah. for me I need obviously I've had I don't know not many people will know but I've been laid out for the last week a week today with terrible vertigo um a lot better than I am now the meds are kicked in um <laughs> do I need to put one on my head <laughs> around my ears this year this is the year so if I just have that there and another one here. I'll be fine, won't I? Yeah. Tie it to my head or a unicorn. <laughs> what I just you could Joanne do. Joanne, then. Yeah, she loves a unicorn. <laughs> a unicorn. You could sleep with it under your pillow. So that would be quite good this if you what, slept with yeah, something under your pillow. Said, I have a self charge one under my bed so I can charge at night. Is that a good idea? Yeah that's yeah that's absolutely fine to be honest like the charging of the crystals it is literally again wherever you put them it is the right place to put them so a lot of people have these fears that they're going to put them in the wrong places or it's not going to work um but no if you feel drawn to putting it there then that is the correct place intuitively for your own personal sort of journey with crystals because the thing is is one crystal isn't going to be exactly the same for the other person so it's how we relate to the crystals and identify with them and what they give us and what we need them for (laughs) kim uh has just said earring so i need another one of these and i just have an earring yeah (laughs) each side or a necklace yeah oh i could do couldn't i yeah i just had a necklace around my neck yeah. I'm going to, I will get the selenite and keep it somewhere safe on me as long as there's there's not any pokey bits. Yeah, pokey, to, bit. uh, pokey bits, yeah. <laughs> um, so if anybody else has any other questions, then we have one from Martine for anxiety. Is it her, yeah. hermatite? Hem, hematite, sorry, I can't. Hematite. Hematite. So hematite, I would say, is not um, a particularly an anxiety stone. I would say that it is more protection. So what hematite does, so that's the black. Have I got one on me? I've just got all of my stuff all over the place at the moment because I'm in between living, in between moving home. Um, so hematite is the metallic, heavy, black um, kind of with a grey kind of shimmer oh, or almost yeah, silver shimmer yeah. on it. Yes, so I've it's seen part that. of you, the black family. You can family. get the hematite or hematite um, bracelets, can't you? In little cubes. Oh, actually, yeah. Are they the ones that one stick here. together? Like I've got a, a bracelet here, actually. That's the one. So yes. that's yeah, and they're quite heavy. So basically, yes. what hematite does is it's actually 
unblocks um your negative energy blocks that you've built within yourself okay right. and then what it does is it um pr uh, promotes willpower and strength in your more like awareness so it will then block negative energy from other people coming into your frequency okay um and it strengthens your self-awareness of what is going on around you so if you're looking at wanting um, an anxiety specifically for anxiety, the best one is um, a stone called rhodonite. Um, yes. And it depends what level of anxiety you've got. So lepidiolite is this one here. And it's kind of like a oh, purpley, it's yeah. a purpley white one. And that will actually help when you're in the midst of panic so say like you're having a panic attack so this was another right. one I used for myself um so this one will create calm and people hold this one during a panic attack or in the car for example places which are trigger points for them what um, was that called again this one is called lepidiolite right I know somebody who would uh would like that yeah it is amazing um so I'm having to make notes because obviously I haven't got my gold stone yet, so I can't remember. <laughs> oh gosh. And then so I what but what I would say for panic um so for anxiety is um rhodonite. So that is a little rhodonite wand, and you can obviously get that in tumbles as well. So yeah. rhodonite is um it's it's it draws out the anxiety. This one is quite good to have in again in the home. So it keeps admitting frequency to um, reduce anxiety because you've got to think it's it's quite an in-depth conversation. What is it that's giving you anxiety? Because then you could have lots of crystals assigned to those different things. But yeah. anxiety as a whole is actually you have to think it's built up of over many different things. It's probably stress in the home, stress in the workplace, um, maybe health. You're not eating properly, so you're not supplying your body with the nutrients it needs. So that's going to... Um, be triggers as well of how anxious you are you know for example like caffeine is not good for you if you've got anxiety because you're like like that and yeah, then that's yeah, then not yeah. going to help you respond to more serious events that are happening say something happening at work so yeah. what rhodonite does is it just sits nicely and it admits that frequency to cleanse the areas and to pull that energy away. So the dark in it represents, um, a lot of people are like, oh, dark is bad though. It doesn't. You know, I like to assign the, um, in darkness, use the darkness to get to the light because what the dark does is there's always this battle between dark and light, but light always overrules. Yeah. And there's always light in the dark, you know, light at the end of the tunnel. People don't just say these things for no reason throughout time um so the dark actually teaches you about your inner wisdom from our ancestors about how they got through it so the yeah. darkness represents our ancestors teaching us that we can get through this right and then the pink um is related directly to the heart then okay and the darker pink it is is um working with actually pumping this energy through um, the blood system wow. and making it so that you have the right fluids so yeah. a lot of this is you know crystals are so in-depth that you could go on color shape but also it becomes physical as well because actually whatever we think about becomes physical it manifests into the physical yeah. a lot of people sort of say well how can a crystal help me in the hospital how can it help me with something a physical thing you know for example like cancer like it's such a massive thing for people and it's like well actually look okay it's not actually going to take a pill and you're being treated by it but what it is is it's mindset and it's your in yeah. intention yeah. with it's what you believe you've got. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's really interesting sorry I was just looking at Kim and Joanne's silly conversations they have every single time um Avril O'Reilly said thank you so much into information to work with to help with pain and anxiety that's all yeah. right <laughs> my pleasure <laughs> uh, Keith hello Keith Keith Bernard Abbott uh 
Carnelian for Carmen Travel. Carnelian for what did he say? Carmen Travel. Yeah, so it's a travel stone. Um, carnelian is amazing because it actually promotes vitality. OK, again, with the health conversation or whatever, like it's it brings in vital thoughts into your head, which will um, reset your sort of icky kind of residue that we build up over time. Yeah. We're continually yeah. as humans having to um, replenish ourselves. Yes. Um, yeah. And, you know, for example, the simplest way of putting it is we wash every day or yeah. we brush our teeth every day, we're actually doing a form of replenishing. Um, so we have to do that with the mind and the blocks that we have in our in our frequency inside. Um, so carnelian is really good for vitality and it brings that warmth and strength from the sun. And then it then brings that into the reality of like your world of how. So that then will then help with positive um sort of life change so whilst working with the car and travel if you're a bit like ah <laughs> it'll it'll help with your mindset a rug up regarding traveling because <laughs> i know a lot of people are quite like scared yeah, of traveling yeah. and things like that yeah we've got a, a question from patricia mcavoy uh, an eight-year-old boy having disturbed sleep any crystal suggestions please yeah a blue how light oh wow that's a lovely color yeah so um blue how light or also known as turquoise or turquoise yeah. um they're the same um it is dyed so again okay um if you put this in water for too long then the the oh. dye will come out so try not to put it in water for too long um, and this is part of the how light family so this is original how light in its original form oh, so it's white difference. with the gray yeah um and then you've then got different colours. So, again, the colours are dyed with intention, OK? But the blue how light is specifically for um, autistic children. Um, and what it does is it helps them learn their anger management. So it's an anger management stone. It helps them process their thoughts before they become, like, physical out there. Um, and it helps them to understand oneself then what that does is it will then restore sleep okay so if you've got bad sleep because a lot of the time if we can't process our thoughts it's going to be tick tick ticking over and it's going to interrupt our sleep yeah. um so i would definitely suggest a how like blue is also communication so what i was saying to you earlier about sodalite is this is the communication of how to communicate with others in the physical world but also the communication you have with yourself and how to okay. communicate with yourself so as a little child they are going to be a lot more um probably a bit more extreme in the way that they deal with things because yes. they're learning so this is a yeah. very good learning stone to have um and then from that it will obviously help with insomnia and sleep and nightmares so definitely get Lovely. that under the pillow <laughs> right um, yes, if anybody is interested to look at uh, Bib's uh, Facebook page, it's at Crystal Clear. Yeah, and, got a blue uh, background, blue um, blue cove behind it. Yeah, so if anybody wants to have a look and see what she, what she does, have a pop over to her Facebook page at Crystal yeah. Clear. Um, 100%. Michelle John, um, she did actually say a little while ago that Rhoda Knight, was the first crystal she bought and she has bought some bits from you as well um oh. i can't pronounce this lepidiolite lepidiolite so that's the Lep one that we were just talking about yeah. is her first go-to crystal for anxiety yeah that's lovely that's that she has one. a raw pendant piece on today and a bracelet as her anxiety has been high for a few weeks now yeah because also it's also to remember because a lot of people have their crystals and they're like quite like um stuck in there no no that's my crystal but don't like if another crystal starts coming in just allow it to come in because the good thing about crystals is some crystals stick around but then sometimes we're drawn to other crystals and we've got a pull towards them i would say a hundred percent get it get that crystal yes. because it's what you need yeah. And you don't realise that you need it. Yeah, I always go into the, we've got one local to me and I've also got a friend 
who has a, an online crystal shop but I go into the shop and I hold it mm. and, and feel it and see what it feels like and if well, I don't like that put it back try another one put it back and if it feels right to me oh I'll have that it's the same with my pendulums mm. I can I can buy them online just by looking at them and think oh I like that I'm going to have that yeah but yeah you've, you've got to go with um yeah what you feel right with um they're now talking about lavender Jamie well, that's Joanne. That's a J, you see. I get confused today. Lavender, if tolerated, is a great calming oil for sleep also. Yeah, a lot of people do say so about lavender, don't they? I have um, uh, a friend who I actually, um, we work together and we sell crystals together and candles. And what she actually does is she makes these amazing vegan candles and they're specifically for different um, aspects of your life and she actually puts the crystals on top yeah so and then she makes these amazing rosemary and lavender crystal candles and it's amazing because as you're burning the crystals are kind of they're little just little tiny chip crystals but they're just melting into um the wax and then this lavender's coming out and I have found oh, wow. that it has really settled and helped towards um my sort of panic attacks and things like that so yeah definitely yeah. lavender oil um just the little bags of it just anywhere you can never yeah, have too much yeah. lavender i well, would definitely agree I would with that also say if you're putting little crystals under your pillow it would be a perfect perfect thing to do would be to put it into a little bag yeah because you never know if you're like me my pillows go all over the place and you <laughs> you know maybe that may sound silly but you could swallow them oh, yeah, so yeah you could. A, little, a little bag i had one somewhere I've got a little bag, just something like this. That's actually got um, Moldavite in, this little one. You don't, I don't often do anything with the Moldavite because it's... It's so it, it, doesn't, in. it doesn't do anything for me. That's, the, that's it, my one tiny piece, and I have got um, another tiny, tiny piece. So Moldavite... Like glass, isn't it? Do you know what Moldavite is for? It's... it's um, it's from a uh, space uh, thingy, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get some of that goldstone. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Moldavite is very high in its frequency if yes. you want it to be. Right. Sometimes it's been said to be known to be too high that it's quite overwhelming. Yeah, so therefore, yeah. as a human being, we just go and we just switch off. Um, like I noticed that I can use Moldavite and get what I want from it and then other times I'm like no I don't yeah. want to I don't want to touch it so sometimes it will sit there and it won't do anything yeah but other times it will so again it's like what I was saying about um sometimes you're going to use your crystals for whatever you want them for or they're coming to your life and then other times they'll just be put away and that's fine too they don't need to be used at that moment in time they just seem to have a way of coming in at the right time to be used <laughs> but it's always good to have these crystals though because you never know when they're going to show you up don't. again <laughs> no i mean mold moldavite is is it from the ukraine yeah Somewhere and it's it's a way, meteorite it's, a it's meteorite, well, yeah 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 Keith, oh. Keith uh, Bernard Abbott says proper sexy crystals is Moldavite. <laughs> well, it is, it is a manly that. one. It yeah, is. I mean, I mean my, my two pieces are, are so small. I have to keep them in the bag. Um, I mean, there is a great, if you, if you search on Facebook for Moldavite, there is a chap actually not too far from me here in Somerset. And he has such a huge, huge collection. He sells them. But if you have a look, I can't remember what his name is. I think it begins with, I think it's Sean something. So have a look for him. Uh, and he's got some huge pieces of Moldavite. Yeah. And I know my friend, when she went, she bought some stuff from him. And she said she put her hand in the bowl of Moldavite. And you could, she could just feel it. You know, you yeah. she, she could just feel that. Uh, but I've never had anything. I've kept it in my bra and kept it in my pocket and... That was a waste of money. But it's probably just me. Probably Nothing's just a waste me. of money. You needed it for something, even uh, if it's not. Yeah. It's not worked for me yet, so maybe I need to get it out again and, and put it back in the bra. The thing is, is, you can actually give it intentions as well. Can you? 
for yourself. Yes. Yeah. Right. So um, lottery win for this week then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wish that would that would that would work. I think we could all do with a. I think we all could. Extra. Yeah. Uh, Michelle, um, oh, sorry, Michelle. Oh, bless you. She was supposed to be going out somewhere, but this is too interesting. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, good morning, Joseph. Hey, Joseph. Hey, hey, Izzy. Hey, so we've had a, we've got about half an hour or so left. Um, are you going to be doing a couple of? Yeah. Um, they, they, if you do a couple of readings, there are going to be so many people. Yeah. So um, what I how I like to do my readings is I do uh, basically. I normally see their names, but because I can't see the names at the moment. What I'll do then is I'll, um, put, I'll put their comments up on the screen and you can go to whoever you feel drawn to. What I want people to do is I want people to pick a number between 1 and 20 um, and whatever number they feel drawn to. And then I will then pick. Um, the name that I feel right. drawn to. Okay. Okay. So everyone, put uh, get your numbers in between one and twenty. I'll pop them on the screen. Get going now. Right. Oh goodness, here we go. Because also, just to let you know, if anyone who doesn't get a reading, please, and but you've picked the same number, then take you can yeah. take, take what that you can number from. from yeah. yeah, take what you can okay. from that number. That's why I quite like to do it like okay. that. Let's get going then. I'll pop some names on. Love Let's reading. See, there you go. That's Amanda McDade, number 16. Okay. Denise Smith, number 11. Okay. Stacey Ann Jeanette, 18. Sally Worker, number four. Okay, I'm going to do the first two, okay, because I'm drawn to them. So, number 16. Uh, 16 is Amanda McDade. Okay. Hello, Amanda. Hope you're good. See, instantly stuff comes in like straight away. So I just sort of said, hope you're good. And then instantly I just had a big kind of grin, but it was quite a masculine grin. So um, I'm feeling like there's like a male energy here already. Um, and I want to say like a grand granddad. Um, and so you've got tiger's eye. Okay. Um, and I've got two different tiger's eye in here. I've got the gold, the tiger's eye that we know it to be, um, and then the red. So you've picked red tiger's eye. Okay, so instantly with that, I'm like I said, I'm getting a male energy in. And right, so what? Also, guys, just to let you know that I, um, Ellie, my sister, is very, very um, in tune with her mediumship. OK, so mediumship is spirit. I work more on energy and stuff like that. But spirit does come in as well. So not everybody is going to get spirit in just to let you know. But you will get guidance. <laughs> OK, so. Um, yeah, so I want to say it's like your granddad on your dad's side um and he's a very kind of um sprightly and so when i say sprightly i mean like kind of like doing this kind of jumping around hopping around and quite energetic um quite a person who is funny and charismatic and quite goofy but not not in a a, a um a bimbo way just knows how to ha have a laugh at himself and have a play um and what I feel he's trying to say for you is that you need to take some of his energy that he had and apply that to your um life right now because it is within you and what he's saying is to use almost like your masculine traits that you have um over your feminine traits right now um and to go and look at yourself on feminine versus masculine. So just a quick, um, feminine is our sort of thinking what we do. Masculine is more practical things um, because men are very practical in the way that they approach things. They they have structure. 
you know, that type of thing. They they don't have many conversations about it. They just get it done and they just go and do it. So what he's saying is to pull upon your masculine energies um, in order to succeed and to where you want to be. But also what he's saying is go back and ask yourself is what is success for you is what I'm being told to ask is because success he he says that he feels that you're putting a bit of a, a thought on success but it's more based on what other people think success is or how um you think it should be but that is based on actually what other people are thinking so what he's saying to you is to bring it home into you what is success for you what does it mean to be successful um, and then he's even now going as far to say as to maybe go back. Some, uh, something that will help you is to go back and have a tool where you write just a simple list of the things that you feel proud of that you have achieved. So an achievement list for you, which will help you get with your mindset and start because there's something you want to do at the moment or you're in the process of doing and you're literally embarking on it. Um, and you've just hit a brick, brick wall. And it's like the residue, like what I was talking about earlier. It's not like a massive ordeal, but it's in the way. So your residue you've got of your thought process is in the way. So he's like, right, put the feminine to one side for a minute and get in touch with the masculine. Get in touch with your masculinity. <laughs> so Tiger's Eye. It enhances your intuition and your psychic abilities, which, again, is kind of key to what he's sort of saying. And it um, enhances integrity. So that's why I was sort of saying what actually is the success for you? What does that mean? Because at the moment, there's a slight out of integrity where you're not being true to yourself. OK, um, and so with all of that, it will bring grounding. Also, the tiger's eye is known as the manifestation stone. A lot of people think it's the money stone, but it's actually the manifestation stone, um, which basically means that um, with what he's saying is start manifesting your masculine um, traits into the physical world. So I hope that kind of like resonated with you a bit. That's tiger's eye. That was red tiger's eye. That was for Amanda. And then we then have number 11. Um, that was Denise Smith. I'm just Denise Smith. Up Denise when I can find her because there's been a lot of comments. Oh, where are they? Here we are. Denise Smith, number 11. Hope you're still here, Denise. Um, and then I'm going to do number four. I can't remember her name, but I was that drawn was to number Worker. four. She's actually okay. sitting in front of me. I'm okay, not here, cool. but I can see her. Okay, cool. Um, okay, right. Instantly, like, change of sort of energy now with Denise. Um, Denise, I feel like you're quite low at the moment. Um, I feel like you're, um, yeah, you're struggling with something. Um, and I feel like it's kind of gone in, like, almost like kind of gone within you. So you're finding it quite hard to uh, speak. So like it, I'm kind of like finding it quite hard to speak now. Um, almost like at the tittering point of not crying, but like it's almost like you feel a bit scared to cry or something or to like actually if if you are crying, it's more speaking it out um, because I feel like there might be a bit of a, a challenge for you here. And actually really sort of speaking it out because I feel like you might be worried that you're not going to get the help that you need and that people around you won't understand. Um, I'm feeling like there's a, a, a certain family member at the moment um, that you feel won't listen to you or won't understand you. Um, so... Uh, and I feel like quite overwhelmingly sad, like you feel really sad about this. Um, hang on a second, something else is coming in. So I kind of feel like, right, so I feel like there is a family member currently at the moment that um, you feel won't listen or won't understand. 
um, your circumstances, but I also feel like there was um, your grieving um, of someone who is passed over. And that's maybe taken a bit longer than what you thought or you've been being told or there's kind of a bit of an energy going on where they're like, well, you know, kind of get over it. Uh, and you've taken that quite badly. Um, so from that, that's where the shutdown has come. So. Right. So guidance for Denise, what's the guidance for Denise? Um, Okay. Um, sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but sometimes things just come up and you just end up like laughing because you're kind of picking up on like energy from like these sort of beings that are kind of around. I've just got like warmth. Okay, like sunshine and warmth. Um, and holiday. So I'm being told very strongly that you need to go on holiday, but not abroad. You need to just take yourself like kind of almost immediately and book in to taking yourself off on a little trip for yourself. Um, and I'm seeing I'm seeing like these beautiful like sort of sun rays coming down. Um, but it's still going to be quite cold. So you need to go whilst it's still cold. OK, but when you then see that sun, you need to kind of almost stand in it. Um, so what i'm being told is right where 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 does denise have to go well i am being told the beach you need to go to the beach somewhere but it has to be a quiet beach not one of these busy beaches at the moment because of the weather it's not going to be that busy anyway but i'm being told that you need to take yourself off to the seaside um with like immediate effect basically you need to do it for you um and from that, even if it's just a weekend and from that, you will then actually gain some kind of um, perspective on movement forwards for yourself. It will actually be a clearing for you and a mind reset. But also the warmth that I'm seeing come through, that like the orange rays of light I'm seeing for you is um, almost sort of saying that this is going to be a slower journey than what you expected yet that is okay it needs to be that way for you to be able to get the nutrients that you need and be nourished if that makes sense so if you could somehow try and turn the negative into a positive way of thinking that actually by being negative this has actually nourished me because i've learned from it and i now have learned what makes me feel not very good and there are ways around this and what I can apply to my future. And one of those things immediately that I can apply is by taking myself away to the beach. OK, so you've got um, Carnelian and Carnelian actually came up earlier in the discussion. And Carnelian is vitality. Carnelian is instantly connecting to the sun and it, it charges um, it charges stuff. The sun charges stuff. The sun makes stuff grow. So it's instantly connected to that and what that will do is it will bring that um, it will break that bad negative thought process and bring vitality in into the reality it also brings courage and that's what I feel like for you 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 need is courage and it's a scary thing to actually step into that place of having courage I don't know whether anyone else has felt so uh, like that and it's actually quite scary um courage is quite scary because you feel like it's something out of the norm for you um yeah so this is a very good cleansing one so it's but it's going to do it with ease grace and gently okay so that's carnelian that was for denise so i hope that that kind of helped <laughs> yes yeah. so and then... obviously sorry carry on well, no, I was just going to say, obviously, do comment. Like, I know that there's loads of comments there. Yeah. So if I am sort of knocking anything on, like, relating to anything, I've just got Denise, well, exactly what I was thinking to get away. Okay, cool. Okay. <sighs> and the next one you said, number four, was Sally Worker. Yeah. Uh, hopefully just before, Sally is still here. Yeah, just before Sally. Can I have some more numbers and names so I can yeah. kind of put them Let's in? Put them all in the queue. <laughs> Let's see who we have. We have Maxine George. 
with uh, also number four. So Maxine, if you take what you can from this as well. Um, well, Carol Jarrett as well, number four. So again, take what you can from um, this, this one for Sally. Vicky Taylor, number seven. Nadia Apita, 22, please. There is no 22. I'm just doing oh, numbers number 1 to 20. 20. Up to number, just number 20. 18, Stacey Ann Jeanette. Jenny Old, no, number 9. Uh, number 9. Okay. 9 is So Jenny. I'll do 4 and then 9. Okay. So Sally, if you're still around, if not, Sally will watch later because I know she is actually at work. Oh, and sneaking her. out every now and again when she can get a signal. Okay, let's have a look. Um, oh, okay. Um, right, hang on. It's quite funny that you've just said at work because that's kind of what actually came up, like pretty much straight away. Um, I, and I am particularly now specifically I am uh zoning into Sally okay um and what I got literally instantly was straight away was like this calming kind of feeling um and quite like um grounded within yourself Sally um however I'm now being told in my left hand side screaming nah what I'm not grounded what are you talking about? So you have these conversations of sort of negative self-talk with yourself. Um, but actually, as a person, who you are for people is stable and quite grounding. And your energy is well received. People, people love to be around you because of your energy. And so basically what I'm being told is that your that energy that you admit out into the frequency um for other people needs to come back to you um because you then block it coming back to you within yourself does that make sense um so but that I, i'll tell you right now that energy was so nice um it was really like oh like peaceful and calming so the guidance for you is that actually trust in in yourself um to basically just know just know what you're meant to be doing like i feel like you've got a question about work at the moment because work came up um and you're kind of going like this with the question that you've got about work something regarding work and right hang on a minute I'm just getting a big yes and I'm actually being seeing yes written out for you. Um, and it's almost like, yes, go. Working or is it right? Okay. It's come back on oh, again. There you are. You're back um, again. Yeah, I know we had a little bit of a, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm getting a big yes for you, Sally, that actually, um, yeah. So I'm getting a big yes go for it do do it's it's funny that we've had quite a big conversation today over the whole session of um intuition um a lot of people need to really zone in on their intuition of what is right for them okay if you're hearing something and you want to be doing something then yeah trust it so this is a trust conversation for you sally um, but also it's about getting your energy that you give over to other people back to you for yourself. OK, um, and that is mainly regarding the work situation going on. Um, and it's because trust me, it's not a bad energy. It's a good energy. Um, so you picked mahogany obsidian. So. It's part of the black family, which is the obsidian family. And obviously earlier we had a conversation about um, protection. So what obsidian does is it protects you and it mainly protects um, around um, sort of electromagnetic 
things um, and um, environmental pollutants. OK, so it's going to be quite um, key for you when you're going into other places or like, for example, very good for people working from home or around a lot of technical things. Um, so it's going to declutter and um, reorganize and shift the energy. Yeah. In order to be able to for all of us to work, we need to have that energy. Um, so it eliminates energy blocks. Um, within your uh, sort of immediate areas okay and it stimulates the aura then it comes back to you so a bit like what I was saying about changing put, getting your energy back onto you it will stimulate your aura that you've got yeah so you'll start pulling that and uh, admitting it even more the frequency even more this one's also good for um, blood flow and circulation, which, again, will help with things like concentration, things like being able to think clearly. Um, and yeah, and it's also the brown. So it's mahogany. So brown is then your grounding. So what it does is it grounds you then into that sort of way of being. So that's mahogany, obsidian. So obviously all of the other people who had number four, please take all of those properties for yourself as well so i hope that helped yeah okay um, we had maxine george um she i think she picked number four she says i'm currently starting to trust myself and now making sure i get it back i've just started wearing mahogany obsidian because of emf okay yeah that's fantastic wonderful and yeah it does help with emf yeah definitely um Okay, did I have another number? You had a number nine, which nine, that's was it. Jenny old, old now. I'm just seeing if I can just pop her on the screen because they have all, there we are, straight in front of me, there. <gasps> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, okay, Jenny, are you wanting to develop at the moment i hope jenny is still here um like spiritually because straight away when i put this hand in my stone i was like ah not in a bad way though in a in a good way um so basically it was like a kind of a popping up there type way <laughs> and i just got in real strong that um if you're not already developing then uh like you need to be and it's something that might come up and happen quite abruptly and quite quickly i think that was the ha -ha thing um i feel like um you're gonna really take to something and it's actually gonna be quite key for for you and your life and like your development um i feel like there's quite a big change ahead um and it's going to be quite like I, I don't i don't know how to explain it but like quite va va boom like quite like abrupt but it will actually be really good um some people come up against challenges and then they really struggle whereas i feel like you're actually going to be the type of person where you've got the energy where you're going to be like no actually i can do that that's fine and you might have um, some kind of like <laughs> what I'm getting from you is kind of like something or things happen and it's quite like oh okay okay well we'll just do it anyway you know like that type of attitude and it's quite funny but actually it is right and it is okay to do so then I find I feel like in your normal kind of life you you end up ending up in situations or whatever, which you might not have ever thought that you would kind of be in, but then you're quite good at taking it in your stride and under your wing. Um, but with this um, spiritual development, um, I feel like something's going to happen with you and then you're just going to like fall into it and find it and it's going to be really right for you. Um, and it's going to be like quite fun and happy and it's almost like, oh, why wasn't I doing this before? You know, like, why wasn't I kind of like, I've got like an energy coming in of like a, um, 
an elderly woman coming in. And that's why I just kind of did that accent because she kind of speaks like that. Like, why, why wouldn't you do that? You know, why haven't you been doing this the whole time? <laughs> it's like, wakey, wakey. So I don't know whether there was anyone in your family who was like that. They have passed over. Um, I want to say like um, on your mum's side, mum's side, grandma, aunt, or like sister, sister to your mum's mum or something. Yeah. So it would be like a, a great aunt to you or an aunt. Um, and she's she's really cute. She's like literally showing me like this little hairstyle that she's got. She's wearing quite dark clothes um, and she's quite little, but she's very much like, um, <laughs> like that. So she's sort of, yeah, she's lovely. She's a lovely character um, <laughs> and she's funny with it. And again, this is what I mean. Like when they come through, they, they show aspects of themselves of their personality and they want you to take that part of their personality and apply it to your your life because as we grow and we're born into the world we are born with our karmic seeds and our ancestors lines running through us so we are a part of them so we do yes we're our own people but we do have our um connections and likenesses and personality traits which match so um yeah so she's sort of saying take on her sort of personality traits so you've got a crystal called moo kate or kite however you want to say it um, and this one comes in different kind of colors um depending on where it's cut um it can come in like a mustard kind of color a ready color a nice pinky kind of color um browns yellows um and so this is a part of the Jasper family. So Jasper is known for being grounding straight away. But what it does is this one is particularly um, for sort of spiritual development. So it will be um, grounding your spiritual development into your physical. So ground your spiritual bodies and your physical bodies together. This also helps with um, looking at different dimensions. So if you're interested in otherworldly type, type beings so something that's a little bit more out of the sort of norm so we're not talking the angels or the ancestors we're talking more sort of like dragons energy um fey energy extraterrestrial energy um you know working with the planets the moons that type of thing that's all dimensional um and what this does is it helps setting you on your way with new experiences so when I was saying a minute ago about you're going to be like having experiences you're going to be taking it under your wing and new possibilities and a choice in life and your choices that you have and kind of setting the fear away of oh was that the right choice it's just gonna be like no actually it was just a choice and it is the right one at that time okay so that's Moo Kate there okay so that's that. we've got about five minutes left if you've if you have time to pick another one yeah 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 um we've got a newcomer just come or well, she's not new millie b yep what she said <laughs> can she have number eight um let's see who else we've got kim he said number five i think he's just disappeared oh, wendy do... gawley is 15 if I do um, number eight. Number eight, that was Millie B. And then I don't mind doing number 15 as well. Um, okay. 15, okay. So this is, I'm doing number eight because a few people picked number eight as well. And this yeah. has been mentioned quite a bit. So this is Goldstone, okay? So we can have a little bit more about the Goldstone. So Millie B, hello, hope you're okay. Um, okay, so instantly like <laughs> anxiety straight away in the throat um which is communication um and like almost like quite a kind of a cap cap capturing fear going on like struggling to breathe a little bit in the pit of my stomach uh, sorry no in the just under my chest um so sitting on top of my stomach so yeah um when i get these feelings obviously i don't want to scare people but what it is is i think it's showing me what you are actually experiencing in your life so this is an experience for you this isn't a 
spirit coming through this isn't this is how you are feeling um really struggling to breathe um so hang on let, let me see what's going on here so like now i'm like kind of itching my eye and my ear so that's just like a distraction method but it's almost like i think that you're in shock are you in shock from something um she says she does have an anxiety anxiety disorder yeah okay so it's kind of like almost like um what i'm experiencing is almost like kind of a, a um a res oh, what's the word um a resigned shock kind of thing going on so it's been going on for a while and you are coping with it but you're in shock at the same time hence why i was just like scratching my eye because it was almost like is this actually happening like on a more regular basis than um you know the say for example someone just having an anxiety attack or something um okay so what why has this come up like what what needs addressing here um are you looking at the moment for something a bit more like more help and you're kind of like not knowing what to do with it um, so she said a, a recent shock about something and hoping it will all rectify yeah um okay Okay, what I'm being told is take hope out of it. That's the wrong word to use for this situation because while ever you're hoping, um, it's not going to happen. It's the wrong word. Um, and one thing you can do right now is change that word. Literally, by simply changing that word in your mindset, it will um, change, shift the energy around um how you deal with it okay so what word can you change it to um right i'm being told for you to actually just go out now and affirm um it will re rectify it is rectified so actually change it into the present so rather than saying i hope it will rectify say it is rectified and that is quite key. And I'm being told for you to write that down and be like, it is rectified. And then to just literally leave it on a piece of paper on the side and then go about your day. Yeah. So that's one thing that you um, I'm being told for you to do. Now, regarding like your anxiety around it. Um, it's probably going to annoy you, me saying this, but it's going back to basics. I feel with you of your breathing of your breathing techniques that you're doing because I'm being told that I feel like you've maybe forgotten to breathe okay and it's about just taking some time out every day to just do some little breathing exercises to getting yourself back down to ground because when you're having these flights of panic you're up in the air and your spirit is is being taken away by the anxiety okay but what you need to do is you need to get it back into the ground and you need to get back breathing, okay? Uh, what's she been saying there? Very good advice. I have been hoping, confused about it, but thank you. It's cleared up my answer. Great, fantastic. Um, so also, right, okay. So Goldstone is the memory loss, okay? It's the memory loss. It's the disorientation that we have in our mind. It's the Oh, things getting so jumbled that we forget exactly like that we forget to breathe we forget to be present we forget to be in the world with what's currently going on um and we then start misplacing things and that means misplacing our brain cells <laughs> as well <laughs> and losing our goal and losing our vision. So what this does is it helps you to appreciate bringing that back in again, and it helps you to find your direction in life, whatever your direction is for the time being, because let's not forget that your direction can change, okay? Um, but in the current circumstances, it helps us um, find our direction. 
um and and then from that it will promote confidence in being able to do that um and then organizational skills so that's goldstone and you can't really see it but it is the really pretty brown one with the lush gold flecks all going in it <gasps> okay so Lovely. breathe breathe millie <laughs> We should, all, okay, we should um, all do a bit of breathing every now and then. Yeah, again. definitely. Um, you said number 15, which I think was Wendy Gawley. Yeah. Um, I have asked if she's still here, but she hasn't replied. So Shall I do Wendy, it anyway? Yeah, she may well watch back uh, later. Yeah. So this is but number again, 15. But again, like, obviously, you know, it will help with other people anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. okay, so you've got bronzite. So let's have a look. Um oh okay, hand. Have you got something wrong with your hand? Um again, like quite physical feelings with this one. It's a lot of physical going on today. <laughs> um So forgive me for saying, because obviously, um, you know, sometimes people don't, if you're going to have a reading, it's kind of like it, they need to be OK with having it obviously in front of people and stuff like that and things being said. But I feel like um, there's a block. OK, so I have obviously learned now that that isn't me being blocked from having um communication come through I have now learned that that's that's actually the other person so it's basically mirroring or something I'm picking up on the other person so Wendy um I feel like there's a block with you um where um you are blocking people's actually helping you um but that's not that's like it goes a bit deeper than that it goes for you I feel like it goes a little bit deeper because I feel like you were hurt in your past which you made a choice to then suddenly be like no I can't actually get help from anyone um so therefore when it does come that you need help you don't take it or you don't ask for it um and this could be in I feel like it's quite a few uh, areas of life. So, for example, it could be practically like, say, in the workspace or in the home space of someone just offering to help you. Um, I don't know, pack a lunch or something like that. And you're like, no, no, it's fine like that all the way down to. So it, it's kind of like the thing where you don't realize that you're even doing it. And then that has then become like that. But then when it comes to the more emotional side of life. Um, things that are a bit deeper you actually do want help um it's it's almost like your um your thought process and your relationship you've got with the word help um uh, thing is is it's okay not to be okay and I feel like you're a bit too hard on yourself when you're not okay so yeah so then then that's where the block is you then just block um whereas actually i feel like the lesson for you now or the learning that you can take from moving into the new year 2022 the perfect time um is actually to start just sort of going reaching out there a little bit and just asking for help and it's actually okay to ask for help but it's also okay to not be okay that's like the key the key words what I'm hearing here is it's okay not to be okay and you need to forgive yourself for those thoughts that you've had before in the past of being a bit annoyed with yourself and then you then turn it into well I I only help myself and I can't ask for help so the key bit for you is to just start slowly practicing your your way of just 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 start putting it out there. Just even if it's just asking someone to help you make a sandwich, if you can't do it with the emotional stuff yet, do it with the physical stuff. Ask 
someone to help you do something physically in your life. And it will actually start to help you then learn how to ask to, for the emotional stuff because you don't want to be on your own with it um, because nobody wants to be on their own. Um, but also one key thing here is that no one is going to understand you. However, because you are your own unique, specific person. However, there will be people who will be able to identify and actually identifying is a more positively powerful and empowering word and thought process of way of thinking than understanding. Whereas everybody goes to the word understanding. And so they get latched and attached to the word understanding when actually identifying is the word to use. Because identifying, they may not have the exact same, well, there's no way that they can have the same thoughts as you and the same experience because we're all unique and we're all very different. However, they will be able to identify to something and that instantly will then open the access for you gaining the help that you don't you don't know exactly what help you need, but you don't need to know. But it will gain help for you. OK, so you picked bronzite and this restores harmony and self-confidence and it gives strength. Um, and it also assists in forgiveness as well. So whatever there is going on for you, it's going to help you maybe forgive yourself mainly, I think, um, for feeling like a bit pooey and stuff. And it also eliminates doubt and indecisiveness. So this is what I was sort of saying. Understanding is an indecisive sort of way of being. Identifying is choosing it. OK. Um, and it's mixed with tourmaline. So tourmaline so bronzite is a mixture of tourmaline and it um, tourmaline is your negative energy from other people. OK, so it helps with if, uh, getting rid of negative energy from other people. And then again, it is a grounding stone. It brings in all of those elements and properties into the physical world. And yeah, so that's bronzite, everybody. <laughs> I Lovely. hope that helped for you gone over a little bit but oh, that's fine we could go on we could go on and on i know honest. i find it so much. interesting it's, it's been absolutely fascinating i've really enjoyed it and i yeah. hope everybody else has um sorry for those who i know there was one person who desperately uh wanted a reading but maybe we can do this again yeah um, another time because i know i've really enjoyed it and everybody else seems to have as well yeah. everybody loves a crystal Mm, they do and if and it includes a reading they love it even well, more they're not just pretty things to look at they are actually exactly. very very yes. you know very in depth um yes obviously i do have my page crystal clear on facebook it's it's the one with the blue lagoon and uh, blue banner behind it there is a couple of crystal clears on there but it's the blue one so if anyone is interested in going on and obviously you know i actively go on and do lives and stuff I do readings on there I um obviously I do sell spiritual gifts as well um, but mainly I use it to help people develop their knowledge because I just love the crystals I also work with fossils and sea orientated things as well yeah you shells like a few fossils do you I've yeah I've, definitely I'm on the, uh, just not far from the Jurassic coast so I'm sort of Lyme Regis Charmouth and we have recently discovered just along the road, a few miles away, there is actually a farmer's field, luckily with a, with a footpath going through, and it's full of ammonites. Mm. And we're a few miles from the sea, um, a good 20-odd miles from where that field is, and they are just on the top of the surface of the field. And it was just fantastic. I just came back with a carrier bag full. Yeah. Loads this of is them. This is what I mean. So also, again, I've had a lot of people now starting to send me pictures of the things that they found. And crystals are everywhere. Fossils are everywhere. Also yes. stones, rocks, oh. they all have this energy in them. So I would highly suggest to anyone to, if you see something, grab it, pick it grab up. It. Pick, I, I've because... got so much stuff. I, I also live near Beer in Devon, which is where you get the hagstones. Yeah. The stones with the hole all the way through. And I've got a whole bowl full here. And um, I know there's Sam Pert, one of our mediums. He does stone readings. And I sent him a couple uh, a little while ago. I don't know if he's used them yet. But he was quite pleased to have had a hagstone. 
Yeah. So they are fascinating things. But yeah, we've gone over quite a bit, 15 minutes, but who cares? <laughs> I've enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully we can uh, we we can get get you on again yeah definitely um we will we will hopefully do that anyway uh just give you the adverts for tonight from 8 p.m uh, it's matt and kirsty grogan answering your spiritual questions so you need to ask them a spiritual question and if your question is answered you will be in line for a card reading or a mediumship reading Tomorrow from 8 p.m. is our lovely Deb Clark, who is back. And we're back again every night now. Something's on every every night, every evening from 8 o'clock. And I will hopefully be back next Monday. I may be on holiday because I should have been away today, but illness has put a stop to that. So it may be next week. So I just want to thank everybody and, and to you, Bib, for coming on because it's been really fascinating i really enjoyed it and i know everybody else has thank you so for just having a, me just a thank you to everybody coming on and we will see you at 8 p.m tonight and because i messed it up this morning i'm going to leave you with a little bit of music <laughs> spiritual psychics tv is hosting the first annual recognition of achievements Acknowledging those who dedicate their lives to a spiritual act of kindness. Psychics TV, bringing spiritual people together.